Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on recurring decimals into fractions. Uh, this is an A grade GCSE topic and can get you three marks if you can learn the method. So let's start by looking at the question, what is a recurring decimal? Well, a recurring decimal is just basically a decimal that goes on forever. So for example, 0.2222, if the 2 keeps going forever, that's a recurring decimal. And the way we can write that, because we don't want to write 2s forever, we can write 0.2 with a dot above it. So the dot above it means the 2 is recurring. It keeps going. Uh, another example of a recurring decimal would be something like 0.353535, and that keeps going forever in that pattern. Uh, so the way we could write that uh, in this bit of a shorter way is 0 0.35, and it's got a dot above both the 3 and 5 to show that that pattern keeps going. Uh, there's one more I want to show you. If we had something like 0 0.47777, so the 7 keeps going, then that's also a recurring decimal. And the way we'd write that one is 0 0.47 and we'd put a dot above the 7 only, because it's only the 7 that's recurring there. Uh, so this lesson is all about how do we turn these decimals into fractions. And it's quite an easy way to learn how to do that. Um, and we'll do a couple of examples, and I'll have some practice questions at the end for you to have a go at. So here's our first question. Convert 0.2 recurring into a fraction. So what we do, the first thing we do is we write 0.2 recurring. So 0 0.2 recurring, we know means 0 0.2, 2, 2, 2, and that 2 keeps going. And we let that equal x. So we start by writing down the recurring decimal and let it equal x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to times that by 10. So instead of having x, we've now got 10x because I've times it by 10. And if we times the 0 0.222 by 10, we'll get 2 point two 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 dot 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 so the important thing here is when we're working out this 10x make sure we line up all the decimals properly now the reason we've done that is because if we take these two away if we do the 10x take away the x we'll be left with 9x and if we do 0 0.2222 take away sorry if we do 2.2222 take away 0.2222, the, the decimal bit will all cancel out. As you can see, I can cross it off there because it all cancels out, and it will leave me with 2. So 9x equals 2. We can just divide both sides by 9, and we'll get x equals 2 over 9, which is a fraction. So 0.2 recurring is 2 ninths. So if you've never seen this before, it's a little bit confusing. All we're doing is we are taking our recurring decimal and letting it equal x. Then we're timesing it by 10. And when we times it by 10, we can see the decimals all line up here. That all lines up. So we can just take them away from each other. And the decimal bit will all cancel out, which means we can turn it into a fraction. Let's have a go at another one. Slightly harder one this time. So the question says, convert 0.53 recurring into a fraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my 0.53. I'm going to write out a few parts of the decimals. So 0.53 recurring means 0.535353, and that keeps going forever. So I call that x. So the first one, you call x. Then you multiply it by 10. So 10x will be, so when we multiply it by 10, we move all the numbers forward one, so it will be 5.353535, dot, 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 dot. So we have a bit of a problem here, because when I've times it by 10, you can see that the decimals this time don't line up. So for example, the first decimal is a 5 on the x, but it's a 3 on the 10x. So the x and the 10x we can't use, it doesn't work. So we're going to times it by 10 again. So we'll have 100x as well this time. So when we get 100x, we times it by 10 again. Make sure it all lines up. This time we'll get 
53353. And that's good news now because we can see that the 100x and the x on its own, the decimals line up on these ones. They start with 5353. Five, so the 100x and the x we can use because the decimals line up. So we don't need to use the 10x. That doesn't help us this time. So this time we take them away from each other. We're going to be doing 100x take away x. That will give us 99x equals 53.5353 and 0.5353. Well, again, the decimals will cancel out. So that will leave us with 53 take away 0, which is just 53. So now we have 99x equals 53. So we're going to divide by 99 on both sides to get x on its own. We'll get x equals 53 out of 99, which is our fraction. So we've now successfully changed 0.53 recurring into a fraction, and we've changed it into 53 out of 99. So 0.53 recurring equals 53 out of 99. So we've gone through a couple of examples there. Um, I hope that comes clear. I mean, the method's always the same. Um, you're trying to uh, make the decimals line up so that you can take them away from each other. I have a couple of practice questions here for you to have a go at. Uh, part C is a little bit harder than the two examples we've done, so it'll be interesting to see if you can have a go at that one. Good luck. <laughs>